If you're just joining us, we're here with Sarah Benincasa from the SiriusXM uh, uh, network. Uh, you talk a lot about sex. Oh gosh, yes. Yeah. Oh, all the time. We say sex, love, and relationships, but really that means sex. Mostly sex. Mm -hmm, mostly uh -huh. sex, yeah. And you have people calling in, and, and you're just you're just loving life. I I actually I, I made a mistake. Uh, the mistake was not listening to your show a few nights ago. The mistake was listening to it in a car as we were going to dinner. Uh, but it was just me and my grandmother. Did Grandma like it? Grandma was actually shocked. And I said, oh, Grandma, it's okay. She's just coming on my show. And, and here she is. Grandma, it's her. It's who we were listening to. Hi, Bubby. All right. All right. How are you? She's cute. She's cute. She hasn't had sex in a while, though. That's fine. You know what? We can fix it. Tell her to call my show. Do you have a job on SiriusXM as a sexpert because uh, of our inability or because of it, the fact that it's a taboo in this country? Is, do you think so? Or, or? I think, you know, I think that's part of it. I think it is a bit novel to have a show where someone speaks about sex in a frank manner. I mean, sometimes I say we talk about dirty things in a clean way. So it's the, it's certainly, I wouldn't recommend listening to it with your kids. But, or your grandma. Or your grandma. Yeah. But it's not the kind of show where you're going to tune in and hear people dropping a lot of the curse words I might use with my friends. And we don't, you know, we don't get too wild on the show. But it's still fun. And a lot of, the biggest complaint that we get on Get In Bed, honestly, the biggest, or excuse me, not complaint, question that we get, or whatever, is women calling and saying, my husband doesn't want to have sex as much as I do, or my boyfriend doesn't want to have sex as much as I do. That's Those are the calls that we get. And it's fascinating because it just blows up that idea that guys are supposed to always be ready because guys sometimes aren't always ready. No. And sometimes they're very, very busy and sometimes they're exhausted. And it's very empathetic of you. Thank you. You're for the entire male population. You're really, you're really, you're welcome. You're boys. making us all sigh, a big sigh of relief. <laughs> well, I didn't, well, I didn't go into the show feeling this way. I didn't know. I just thought, oh, well, if a guy doesn't want to have sex one night, something's seriously wrong with the relationship. Oh my God. But what I've learned from hearing men's stories and hearing women's stories is no, actually, men are allowed to not be in the mood too. Now, do you ever talk about your sex life on the show? Oh, all the time. All the time. Is it very is it very busy? Is are you are you busy? I have a boyfriend, but one of the reasons that I like doing the show is that I don't have to pretend that I'm good at sex or that I know what I'm doing. I can ask a lot of questions. I end up asking a lot of questions so that the women can call in and give me advice, and I like to admit my shortcomings. Do you also. like being naked? I like being naked, but I don't like... I'm very comfortable naked when I'm by myself or with my boyfriend, but I'm not necessarily... You sleep naked? Oh, yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah. But I'm not necessarily someone who is an exhibitionist in the sense of showing my my body off. You covered up pretty nicely for us I today. Did, well, because I heard a rumor that you were a Puritan. You are full of anxiety. Full of anxiety, but full of Prozac also, uh -huh. which is very helpful, yeah. and I'm, I'm writing a book about it. And so you've combated sort of this, it's very interesting because, of course, you're, you're a sex expert, you, you don't feel great about your body, you like, you like being naked with your body, with your boyfriend. Oh, for sure. But it's sort of like anxiety and sex for me, anyways, they go together. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, I think. So did you develop this because of your sexuality? Oh, no. Yeah. I, I started having panic attacks and things like that when I was a kid, and it grew into something called agoraphobia, which is the uh, fear of, it's basically the fear of travel, the fear of going outside. Outside of your house? Right, and so. Anywhere? Uh, yeah, it can, it can get that bad for some people. It's just in their city or their neighborhood. But for me, it, it got to be even my bedroom when I, in my early 20s. And thank God I have parents who are pretty pretty cool people. They helped me out, with, got me therapy, and uh, got me into a program that was so really you, good. So you developed uh, ag ag agoraphobia mm -hmm. uh, at what age? About 19 through 21. 19 is through when and it, you're it 29 got the worst. now. Mm -hmm. So what happened when you were 19 that just set you over? So it was being, I think, being in college, being away from home. And um, thankfully, I was able to get get help so that I'm doing quite well now. And now the weird thing is I travel so, well, around the world. I just want to go back. 19, you're having you're having issues and, and you just, you're like, oh, I'm having unnecessary panic attacks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you've, you've now managed to find the humor in this. Absolutely. I think that's, I mean, I think that's really healing. The only way I can deal with anything is to make fun of it or to laugh at myself. Love it. Hopefully a combination it's of the so two. It's so important. Oh yeah, I think it's really healthy. And you've, you've toured internationally, right? With your one woman show, Agora, Agora Fabulous? Yes, and so I've toured internationally with a show about being afraid to travel. Can we do it? Now? No, I mean when you're filming your show, I'd like to do your radio show. You'd like to do my radio show? 
Well, that's interesting, Jake, because I thought that you were propositioning me, and now I see you just want to use me for for my radio show, and I, I feel like you have a TV show, uh -huh. so maybe you don't need that kind of exposure. I like the radio. And, I like talking about sex. Well, maybe you should think about falling in love with someone beautiful who... Did I hurt you? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> whatever, it's fine. All right, we'll pick you up during the commercial break. Sarah Benigasa. <gasps> okay. Nice to meet you. Watch her, or don't watch, just listen. <laughs> listen to her show weekdays, 8 to 11 on Sirius 111. Uh, and XM162, or you can go to sarahbenincasa.com. She's doing so many cool things from you know, your political commentary and obviously the, the sex show huh, on the radio. So my, my, my thanks to you. Thank you. Well, thank you, sir. We'll pick you up during the break. Raise her up.